First cast, there you go. Welcome to Real Action, Michael Guest. Got my mate Barney here, who's a regular on the show, and beautiful flounder. We're throwing some soft plastics around, new moon, last of the run out tide, and it's a, it's a great time of the day, there's no doubt, to try and target a few flathead. We might sort of do something else on the run in tide and then give them another go this afternoon and see if we can't find a few, but look at that. We've still got a flathead, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it's close to a flathead. And they live on the bottom and they feed on prawns, and we're trying to replicate prawns. I mean, that's what we're doing with these soft plastics this morning. And look, first cast, it's worked. There's a really nice flounder. A good fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done, mate. Nice fish, eh? Yeah, feels all right, mate. Let's wind up there. <laughs> we can see him with oh, the oh, look at yeah, the sunny stand. Right. Oh, this time of the day, it's really hard to see into the water, and if we get the polarized sunnies, you can look down there, and I can see a nice flathead on the end of that. Your bunny's rod there. Sometimes pays to keep their heads down a little it bit does too, mate. Don't they sort of come up thrashing about and want to throw you a lure. Beautiful. Like that. Beautiful. And that, and that, and that. <laughs> Beautiful colours on that fish. Oh. There you go. Really? That's a great looking fish. That's what we're set out to catch today. I know we've, uh, we started with the flounder and, and uh, saw some tail busting up on the on the surface here, which is always good fun. But that's, uh, that's our target on these soft plastic shrimps and look at that that's a beautiful looking flathead right there cracking colors in it yeah all colored up don't forget in the new south wales waters 36 centimeters is your legal length for flathead but pretty well you know i make a rule uh, to let them go over over that sort of 58 centimeters because um anything over 58 chances are it's a female and we want to let those breeding fish go but i'll tell you what mate that's a great start right there yep Got him, mate. Oh, oh, oh. Go, you good thing. Geez, there's lively little critters in here. Yeah. <laughs> Where is he, mate? Nice fish, mate. He's just there. It's cool. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Climbed on that. Yes. Oh, oh, not finished yet, Mick. Not finished, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Doing a bit of darting around. Oh, it's good fun this time of morning. There's some. Peak periods to catch. There's some peak periods to catch flathead. There's no doubt. Early in the morning, late in the evening, but that last of that run out tide. And what we've got at the moment is we've got to run out tide early. We'll have another one this afternoon. And what we want to do is we want to try and we want to try and find one like a big one, big 65 one. to 80 centimetres somewhere there for you. But hey, I've got to tell you, fish like this are just good fish. Yeah, it's a really nice flathead that one there. And great fun on this light year, mate. Oh, aren't they? Look at that. That's a beautiful looking flathead right there. And he's just under the boat. Just goes to show you, and we're using the electric motor sneaking around. We can get to the spots pretty fast these days. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> We've got a 150 horsepower engine on this thing. It flies, so we can we can certainly find a, a nice spot to chase a flathead if they're quiet somewhere else. But just that stealth, and that fish was probably only six or seven feet in front of the boat, and he's just climbed straight on that. He's a nice looking fish, there's no doubt. The camouflage is amazing, isn't it? How oh. they sit in the bottom. Yep. And they just 
lay in the sand on those weed edges and they just wait to come and pounce out. He's been on a bit of that gravelly stuff by the looks of it. Oh, it's a gravel one. This one. Gravel, 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 gravel flat. Gravel flat this one. <laughs> Marine Rescue New South Wales has more than 3,000 volunteers to help keep you safe on the water. You can log on with your local Marine Rescue base when you're heading out. You can call them back to check your marine radio is working. Best of all, they'll come to your rescue if you break down or worse. It costs a lot to provide this world-class service, so make sure you support your local volunteers whenever you get the chance. Marine Rescue New South Wales, volunteers saving lives on the water. Gonna put another one of these jigging shrimps on. Pretty cool things. They come in a range of colours. So that's a light pink colour, and everyone's heard of nuclear chicken, but there's all sorts of bright oranges and greens and flathead love. Pinks and greens are certainly one of their favourite colours. Fellas in the kayaks here were just asking me, you got any tips, Guesty, about catching flathead on soft plastics? And I said they like pink and green, so there you go. So really simple stuff. Just make sure you get it nice and straight. It's important to get that jig head. So have a look down the length of that lure as you put it on that soft plastic and make sure that hook goes down nice and straight poke it out through the body there and slide it up and if you're not 100% happy pretty simple stuff do it again you know and these things are terrific because if that if that section of the body there gets a bit knocked around you can actually keep that hook go right back to here and still have a lot of action so you could get a pair of scissors and trim that off and uh, slide it up again and, and continually do that right to there so you get a lot of use out of one of these things and uh, got the little feelers at top so they look like a shrimp and as you can see so far they certainly work. Fish? Oh yep. You have? Yep. <laughs> oh that's a good fish mate. Yep. Oh it's a nice one. Oh that's a nice fish. It's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. I'll just uh Spotlight there, I'm going down this way. <laughs> that's a nice one. Stay on him, mate. Yeah, it's a shallow, rubbly stuff here. You just got to, oh. That's a good fish. It's a nice flathead, mate. We wanted to catch a good one, didn't we, Barney? We, we did want to here. catch a good one. <laughs> that is a good one. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh, that's a nice that's looking a nice fish, fish right there. Crack. Try and steer him around. I think he's reasonably well hooked there, mate. Get, you, get him in the net. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in there. Oh, that's a nice, nice. flathead. Look at well that. Done, Look at the colours on that one. That's a cracker. That's a beautiful <laughs> big flathead right there. And it's funny, people, they often ask us, what's your favourite type of fishing? We've got a few favourites. I like the bass on poppers and, and uh, you know, we like chasing our snapper and mull away, but I've got to tell you, this is, this is simple to do. An outfit like this one, uh, you know, we've spoken about it before. I, I use this rod for so many different types of fishing, three to five kilo and that little 3,000 size spin reel, some six pound to eight pound braid, away you go. A range of jig heads and these new, I, I like these new, well, well, he's lost his tail. He's got the tail, <laughs> tail right? yes. But uh, these, these new, what they call a jigging shrimp. So they're always coming up with different designs and. And you know what, sometimes they come up with a new design and, and you've got to find the right purpose for it. But I've got to tell you, for flathead, they're pretty hard to beat with that big curly tail. It's got lots of scent too, yep. so when it's a bit quiet and the barometer's actually a bit low, I'm surprised that these fish are biting as well as they are at the moment. But uh, as I said, we've got that tide change just on sunrise and... Grab that, yeah, grab that glove, mate. Grab that glove. And they're a good lure for the kids too, because you don't have to work them as hard. No, exactly. That's a really good point Barney makes there. Because it's got that curly tail, it's doing a lot of work for you. You can wind it quite slowly, so you don't have to be a, 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 an expert soft plastic fisherman to get the most out of it. And I'll just get a nice um grip there. Look at that. That is a great, great looking fish right there. Fins up. Aren't they a cool looking fish when you see them like that? Come on. There you go. Yeah. Little cakes, have a chat to him. Yeah. <laughs> Doing what he wants. Back up. Doing what you want. Yeah, him, beautiful mate. looking fish up around that sort of 60 centimetre mark, and that's what uh, we're hoping to find. I reckon there's a bigger one here somewhere, but we're going to, I think we've, we've nearly lost this tide. We might, uh, might even come back this afternoon and have a bit more of a go here yet, but uh, beautiful fish right there. 
Off you go, big girl. Away you go. Woo! <laughs> awesome. We might head up there and have a bit of a fish near that tide. It's starting to run out. Yeah, mate. This estuary system that Barney and I are fishing is pretty well typical for a lot of estuary systems around the country. So um, the water actually comes in, flows out, pretty simple. The entrance to the ocean is back that way. So when you come into the system, you've got your red markers and your green markers, so port and starboard. So port, which is your red one, stays on your left. Starboard green stays on your right. You keep them uh, right and left, as I've just said, to go in the system. When you come out, you've got to reverse it around. Also, don't forget, when you're on the water, as far as oncoming boating traffic goes, it's the opposite to what Australian road rules are. So instead of keeping the traffic on your right-hand side, as you would on the road, you keep the boating traffic coming towards you on your left-hand side. So you need to keep to the right-hand side. And I've got to tell you, when Christmas comes and Easter time and all those busy periods, it'll make things much, much easier if you stick to the rules. Run out tide, November. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, go you good yeah. thing. You got him, mate? Yeah. Oh. It's like pothole fishing then, mate. Yeah. On the 10 pound leader, eh? On that nice yeah. light leader. Here he comes. <laughs> Why did I mention the 10 pound leader? Oh, because it's nice and light. Just to remind you that, it, oh yeah, it's a nice mm, little one. A bit darker, isn't he? He's dark, up in the weed. Oh, yeah. Geez, he, he made uh, a very good account of himself for his size. That's well, he hit, hit in really shallow water, isn't he, about? Look at the difference. Hold him up and show everyone at home the difference in the colour of that fish compared to... You want me to hold him up? Yeah, you hold him up. You can get spiked. And don't forget... Flathead. Kids at home, if you're watching. <laughs> but um, I'll just uh, spin us around. Flathead have got a couple of terrible spikes and Barney's going to show you where they are. Some really bad ones just at the back of their head. So there's a, couple, there's a couple just here on that gill plate there and a couple at the back there, so be really, really careful. They're a bit of a tough fish to handle. A pair of gloves um, can be a really good way of doing it. Look how dark he is, because yeah. you come out of the weeds. So we've got perfect structure here. You've got a shallow weed bed, a patch of sand dropping down over an edge into some deeper water, and it's just ambush central for fish like this. He's only a little bloke. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Catch, caught him again, kiss. caught him again. I'm sure there's some bigger ones there. So we're just using the electric motor at the moment, Barney and I, and there's a couple of ways you can do this. A bit of structure here. You could either use that electric anchor and spot lock and then cast and work up into this bit of a reefy sort of edge here. Or you can just use the autopilot, which is what we're using at the moment. So we're just, we've got a bit of breeze coming across this way, tides going that way. And got the fish. Flat out of biting <laughs> on this side. <laughs> and, um, and just use that autopilot and just adjust. And when you get a bit of a back eddy here, I need to back it off a bit in the main current you can bring it back up and, and then that autopilot will just follow the line that you set it at. And um, as you can see, Barney's just going to lift a nice little flathead in. Yeah. Works a treat because <laughs> that, that thing there is keeping us in the zone. We can cast into the current, current's going that way, and hop our lures back with the tide. Well done, mate. Beautiful. Good job. <laughs> Oh, you got one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Right at the boat there, mate. Nice. <laughs> oh, oh. Just giving, giving you a oh, bit of... Oh, there, oh, there. I better get, get my line in there, mate. Giving you a bit of curry, that one. It well is. Well done, champ. It is. It's all happening at the moment. Oh, dear. Sensational. Oh, got the heart going. Good one? Yeah. Feels good, mate. It's this just one. your foot up. They're all good, mate. They're all good. <laughs> Doesn't matter how big. Oh, oh, oh that's oh, a nice fish. Oh, Michael. That is a good one. <laughs> it is a good one. That is a nice fish, that one there. Take your time there. Hey, look, and if you're looking for an estuary boat to get set up, there's a few things you need to tick off. One thing for me is a casting platform, somewhere to put your electric motor. This thing's 5.79 metres long, got that big 150 horsepower Whoa. engine on the back. You can cover plenty of ground to chase big flathead like this. Side console gives you heaps of dancing room. We've got so much room in here, room for eskies and uh, room for lots of fishing gear and plenty of room for Barney to stand up here and fight a big crocodile flathead. But uh, this is a really cool setup, this one here, I've got to tell you. It'll, uh, it'll do that light offshore work 
and plenty of good estuary yeah, work as well. Is, I've got to yeah. tell you, that's a big flathead right there. Yeah, yeah babe. <laughs> Yeah! Yes! Oh, look out! Oh. It's loose on the deck! Oh, wow! Wow, that's a good one, mate. Cracker! That is an awesome oh. one. That's a big flathead. And chasing these things on that gear is just unbelievable. Sport fishing there. Where's, oh. the, where's the glove? Wow! You definitely want a glove for that one. Wow! Oh. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that's a nice big female flathead right there. We're hoping to show you a couple of nice ones. There's a good one there, mate. You've dusted me there. Oh, well. Oh well. Sometimes you've got to win, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, we, yeah. have a, we each have a turn now, don't we, mate? Yeah, it's a funny sort of day, overcast, and I think the, the wind's going to blow a little bit later on. And uh, Mate, I've got to tell you, that's a really, really nice fish. Once again, amazing camouflage they've got. Sit down in the sand, that big head. Be careful of those big spines on the, on the sides there as well. Can be very, very dangerous. You've got quite gripping teeth and they feed on all sorts of things this time of year. Certainly prawns are high on their diet, but they'll eat all sorts of things like live mullet, tailor whiting. I think anything that comes their way. And uh, it's so important to make sure you give that lure plenty of action and make it dart and dive around and look like a food source for a big girl like that. But that's a really, really good flathead right there. Now that's a cracking catch. If you've been catching some ripper fish lately, send in the photo to our Alfabs Cracking Catch competition at realactiontv.com. To get you hooked up, every week we're giving away an Abu Garcia rod, reel and line combo along with some great gear from Valvoline to keep your marine engine and trailer lubricated. Mate, that's a ripper flathead right there. You're watching Real Action. Don't go anywhere. Plenty more coming up. All good. Oh. Nice, mate. Let it go. Go. Oh, see how got. Look at that. Yes! <laughs> oh, ho, ho. Awesome. Oh, I can see him, and it's a nice little flathead, Barney. Oh. That's the great thing about polarised sunnies when you get a bite. There's no, oh, and he's just rattled <laughs> off. That's all right. Nice little flathead, and he's just, he's just yeah. rattled off. But it's pretty cool when you look down through that sheen and you can see. And it's, it's really, it's how big it is. When you're having a competition oh. fishing with your mate, you want to catch the bigger fish. <laughs> and I've got to tell you. I think we're, uh, you're in front at the moment. You've got that one 70 odd centimetres before, but I'm going to try and get one here one somewhere. More, eh? One more, if one I more. can. Oh, it's some yes. Good fish. Oh, a little bit better. Stole <laughs> on the whip. Oh, sounds good, mate. Yeah, taking a bit of string. This is certainly a better flathead. And it comes to tackle. We've got my favourite rod, three to five kilo, 3,000 size spin reel, some six pound braid, a little bit of 10 pound fluorocarbon leader, and we're using a three eighths of an ounce jig head at the moment. And that uh, what's called a jigging shrimp. It's pretty cool, soft plastic. It feels like a nice fish. It's got its head in the current. With that 10 pound leader. Just make sure you've got to have that nice smooth drag. Super smooth drag is what it's all about. Oh, a couple of big head shakes there. We'll just take our time there at the moment. Oh, he's off. See you later. He's doing a bit of a lap around. I've just spot locked us, so I've just electrically anchored us at the moment, just while I play this fish around. And if it took any more line than that, I think Barney would be would be chasing it around for sure. So we'll just uh, yeah, so far he likes the boat. He's so far he's just doing a bit of a lap <laughs> around. I'll get up on the gunnels and we'll do a bit of a lap around there. Oh, it's a nice one, mate. Nice fish. Yeah. Right up. Most important thing when you're fighting any good fish, isn't it, Barney? You've got to take your time. You do, mate. It's different if you. If you're chasing a fish that's right in the structure, once you've got them out in the clear, just take your time. This is probably a fish that's over 60 centimetres, so certainly anything over 60 is going to be a nice female, and I reckon this one's definitely, I don't know, it's certainly taking its time. I could see it down there. I don't think it's an absolute monster, but I reckon it's a really nice one, that's for sure. Big head chase. I'm giving you a bit, mate. Jeez. Jeez, here it comes. You got some colour there. Yeah, mate, it's or? nice one. You got the net there, yeah, mate. Yeah, I got the net. I'm coming behind you. Yep, grab coming the behind net. you. Grab the net. Coming behind you. That's a nice fish right you. there, buddy. Coming behind right, you. That's what we wanted to show you. Yeah, right baby. That's a good fish. <laughs> well done, mate. Well that's done. a very, very nice big flathead right there. And uh, <laughs> yes, we had a plan. I said to Barney, 
let's try and show you a nice size fish and we've been able to do that which is always exciting it's uh it's always good when you can put a nice big flathead on television they're one of my favorite fish they certainly are that oh and i've got to tell you i'm glad i got the glove there look at that that's a beautiful big flathead there it's a crack on it all right there that for a bit. Get a line there. Oh, thanks, lads. A couple of boys out there in the kayaks have come to have a bit of a look. And apparently that's epic. It's epic. Epic. <laughs> that's a really nice fish getting towards that 70 centimetres in size. A beautiful fish. You can see those light colours, those really light dots and dashes there. It tells you straight away that it's been camping in the sand. So in that current, we've probably got two and a half, three knots of current. They put up a really good fight. And on that tackle, it's oh, such great fun. And, I think people get carried away a little bit sometimes with flathead where they use too heavy a gear. They're up around that 20 pound leader and big yeah. heavy jig heads. Hey, they are a great sport fish in their own right. You can see that. This fish was toweling me around the place. I tell you, there's a really nice big female flathead right there. Well, there's a beautiful big flathead out of the sand. You've been watching Real Action. Michael Guest, my mate Barney. We'll catch you next time. Bye now. Awesome, mate. Off you go, girls. Thank you.